How's it going YouTube? We're in the car right now and today we're going to be doing a vlog because I'm going to Momentum in Springfield, Illinois. That didn't even hurt, you little rascal. <laughs> Macaroni is good on ketchup. Oh, this kid. Guys, I was watching Netflix and I was watching The Crows. Because I was bored. I watch it when I'm bored. Grammar good is mine. Lawrence spit on the ground. Acting like it was bird poop. <laughs> oh, that got on my camera. Are you serious? <laughs> no, it didn't. It did. Spitting on the ground. Told me it was bird poop. In the arms of the angel, fly away from here. I'm not gonna pay. Just hit up the pokey stop. Got a great ball. Raspberries. Hashtag vlog, dude. Jonathan. Good. We're, we're, we're struggling to survive. We need food, like, so yeah. we just thought to walk to our neighborhood friendly Spider Man. Guys, guys. Hashtag McDonald's, dude. <coughs> so, where are we going, Lawrence? Huh? McDonald's! 
Let's run. Yeah, we're going to McDonald's. Should we run? Should be fun. We should that teleport. We Guys, should, we should show the vlog that we can teleport. All right, yeah, let's do that. With the power In of editing. In three, two, one. J we're here. You teleport. Yeah. Uh, teleport. We teleport to fam. We teleport to fam. Testament, you'll find out this is the last time Jesus will pass this way. And Jesus is on his way out of Jericho. He is starting the long march towards the cross. Thank God for the cross. And the Bible says he was about to pass them by. And we can surmise from the text that had the gentleman not started yelling at Jesus, he would have kept on walking. You say, Heath, doesn't God already know what's going to happen in the future? Yes. And God also knows that some of the things that happen in the future are 100% based on your choice or lack thereof. There are some things that God won't do unless you cry out to Him in prayer. Sometimes we use God's sovereignty as an excuse to be lazy. There are some things that God predestines and he says, this will not happen unless you cry out to me. You keep coming if you want prayer. There's people up here to pray for you all around the room. Oh, uh -huh. 
when it comes to what this world offers. Here's what I'm asking you, and I'm asking you from the bottom of my heart. Leaders lead. Don't give them an excuse to just go back to the hotel room and goof around tonight. Throw your agenda away. Maybe you had stuff planned. Throw it away. God's agenda is greater than your agenda. And young people, listen to me. Listen to me. Only God can do what you need him to do tonight. Only God. But you got to be willing to ask. And you got to be willing to stick it out. So I'm asking you guys, stay with us for a little while longer. Enter into the presence of your God. And pray with us together. The Bible talks about the power of prayer and unity. The power of what the church was able to accomplish when they gathered together in prayer. I'm asking you guys to gather together in prayer. I'm asking you guys to lead this congregation in revival. Because I skipped a cool parade to watch a great miracle. Amen? So here's how we're going to do it. The psalm says that I desire a broken spirit. See, you won't pray about anything you don't care about. Take a lesson from a Cubs fan. Why did it mean so much? Because I had 808 years of losing. Because my whole life I never saw them win. Because I kept hearing Cardinal fans at Momentum laugh at me about it. Now listen to me, listen to me. The victory is always the sweetest when the struggle is the hardest. The victory is always the sweetest when the struggle is the hardest. I want us to pray tonight that God would break us. Break your prideful heart. Break your arrogant spirit. Break the boy who's flirting with the girl over there. She don't even like you anyways. Holy Spirit. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, I, I joke. But if you're not weeping before the Lord, you'll never be able to rejoice before him either. Can we be broken for the things that break God's heart? If my friend is sad, I'm sad with them. If my friend is angry, I'm angry with them. If my God is broken by what's going on in our state, in our country, in my family's life, I want to be broken too. So I'm asking you, bow your head, close your eyes. We're going to pray.